but what we're building towards is in your house degeneration X. And you can tell in the title picture, it's going to be Ken Shamrock challenging the world champion, Shawn Michaels. We're just eight days removed from the Montreal screw job. And I think a lot of folks assumed the next natural opponent for Shawn Michaels would be Owen Hart. And we know Owen winds up getting re-signed. He gets a bump. He gets a big new contract and he debuts as the black heart and briefly has a bit of a skirmish with Shawn Michaels in December, but very quickly, Sean moves on to the undertaker in January. So no real main event opportunity there of any substance for Owen Hart, but Ken Shamrock, I felt like in 1998 was going to be one of the tippy top guys. I thought he would have been an incredible opponent for stone cold, Steve Austin, because I think stone cold comes across as so real and so authentic. And so does Ken Shamrock. Was Ken Shamrock ever on your radar for WCW? Not for WCW. He was certainly on my radar. I I enjoyed watching him in WWE, but for all the reasons that you pointed out early on by 1997, I wasn't looking for any more top talent. I had more than I could manage (laughs) again, going back to what we talked about as the show opened up. So certainly well aware of him. Um, enjoyed his work. I loved his believability, his credibility, obviously with his MMA background, but still he was able to work. Uh, he wasn't just an MMA guy, uh, definitely on my radar, but n- not, not someone that I was hoping to see end up in WCW. 